is just going to be a, a short uh, insight tutorial on uh, Isotopes uh, RX Suite, uh, which is an absolutely fantastic thing for cleaning up uh, my very horrible recording techniques. So uh, we're just going to take a look at a vocal that has some uh, work to do on it um, from the Show Me How to Live uh, track that I'm recording uh, in Logic 9. So here we go. The, uh, this is the track. It is from the chorus. I apologize about my singing. Um, I'm trying to hit the notes that uh, Chris Cornell does. Uh, but in this track, while I was singing it, I noticed that uh, there were a lot of pops and clicks. So, you know, I've already just done a basic uh, denoiser on it, which uh, I went through there and I, I uh, took a, some of the white space that was here, trained it like this and then I clicked on this and then I said apply and basically it took down all of the uh, white noise and cleaned up the track so that there's no hiss so during the mix uh, all those kind of ambient noises kind of mass together for a horrible um, muddy sound so the the cleaner you get just like in painting the, the colors that you use the purer they are instead of muddied up uh, and, you know, collected on each other, the better and brighter your painting is. So the same thing with mixing, the better and brighter your sounds are, especially the way I, uh, <laughs> way I record. So anyway, uh, I apologize again for not sounding like Chris Cornell. Uh, I'm sure there's tons of you guys out there that can do exactly what he does, but here I am having fun with the track. Um, so bear with me. Uh, you're going to hear some clicks and pops, and I'm going to fix them. Nail in my hand from my creator. You so uh, you hear the um, bacon having some fun uh, with the bacon. So basically I select an area uh, with these horrible clicks and pops so you can hear it. My head, my head, my head. And then I get out the beautiful spectral, uh, no, uh, declicker. And we preview it. Beautifully applied. Now look at that, all the clicks are gone. And let's see if this is one. From yes, it is. So I just uh, rinse and repeat all the way through the entire track. Uh, we want to get rid of all of these clicks and pops because, well, you know, people don't want to hear bacon frying while somebody's singing, especially if they're, um, you know, singing Chris Cornell stuff. I'm sure Chris Cornell wants to get the bacon out. All right, well, that's just been a really quick uh, tutorial on other little tools I use to um, pretty up my uh, horribly recorded tracks. Peace out. This is Tony2008, and uh, hope you learned something from that.